guys. Got another unboxing today. Um, this one is of the Encase Nylon Compact Backpack. So let's go ahead and break into this. Second. Okay. Just making sure you can see me. Because I'm shooting with a Canon T1i and uh, there's no screen to flip around. Make sure I'm not cutting into the backpacks. Okay. Throw that to the side. And there it is the 15 inch compact backpack. Some shipping information from Apple. But, uh, okay, I ordered this on Monday, October 5th. It shipped the same day, and today is the 7th, so it just got here. It's, uh, let's see what time it is. It's 3.40 p.m. UPS just dropped it off. Okay, get this box out of the way. Ugh. Oh, God. Of course, I bumped the tripod. All right, so there's the backpack itself. Sorry, I'm having camera issues right now. I just threw the box into the tripod. Let's go ahead and cut this. Okay, so this is actually really a great size. It looks a lot lighter colored in the. Uh, and the picture's on apple.com, which I'm glad it's not that light because it looked kind of girly to me. But uh, I actually like the way it looks. 15 inch, compact nylon backpack, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so make sure you can see this. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and show you this. There's the pocket right there, of course. Um, I can fit my whole hand in it. Uh, it's not too big, but does a good job. Let me go ahead and focus this actually. Doesn't look like it's as sharp as it can be. There we go. Okay. And there's a pocket on the side here. Uh, I guess just for your keys. That's what they showed on the uh, on the website. It's just this pocket for keys. Uh, not a pocket over here. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and take this off. It's pretty annoying. Make sure not to cut my finger off. Okay. And then right here, there's like a dedicated iPhone pocket. Ooh, it's like lined with like faux fur. That actually feels really good. Go ahead and throw my phone in there. Oh, let me take this case off. If you haven't watched my review on this case, or not my review, my unboxing and first thoughts on this case, go ahead and watch that. I'll have a review coming up soon. Yeah, I'm not afraid to throw my phone in there because, well, for one, I have the bodyguards on there, but if I didn't have it on there, uh, the faux fur makes it really, makes it, protects it a lot, and it does get a bunch of lint on your phone. But there's that pocket. Okay, and here's the main, main pocket on top. There's where you're going to throw all your stuff. This is for the MacBook, 15-inch MacBook. I'll go ahead and grab mine in a second and throw it in there. And here's, oh yeah, I saw this. This is a dedicated iPad case. And then with the purchase of the backpack, you get yourself an iPad. It's a lot thinner than the Apple iPad. It's uh, in cases, um, in case an Apple collaboration for the iPad. Look how thin that thing is. It's got the A6 processor. They went, skipped five, went straight to six. Um, yeah, retina display. Pretty nice. Have a review coming up on this iPad later. So, <laughs> there's your dedicated iPad pocket. And then over here, this is the uh, the pocket for that um, iPhone pocket. There, it's the, the bag for the iPhone pocket. You know what I'm talking about. And there's another kind of shallow pocket right there. Um, another shallow pocket. You fit your phone, your Mighty Mouse, actually can't call it Mighty Mouse anymore because they lost, Apple lost the name to it in a legal battle, so I guess your Magic Mouse 
Um, and then a couple pens and pencils. There's a pocket right here, just to sh show you his preference. Pocket right there, and then there's a mesh pocket right in front of that. And there's a shallow pocket in the back again. And then you can just throw some textbooks or whatever you ha what have you in there. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Here's the back. Nice breathable mesh um, padding throughout the whole bag. Little in case tag. Straps, of course. These little flap things. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I'll have a full review coming up after I start using this. Uh, I'll use it for school, I'll use it for travel. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MacBook off the desk here and throw it in there for you guys. Actually, these cables aren't gonna fall behind. Okay, so here is a 15-inch MacBook. I can throw it right on in that pocket, and it fits in there very nice. It's not sticking up too much, like that. It fits in there really well. It doesn't feel that heavy in the bag. And of course, the faux fur lining in here is going to protect it really well. There's no faux fur lining on the in the uh, iPad pocket, though, unfortunately. But I don't have an iPad. Actually, yes, I do. But I don't have an iPad, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'll just be throwing papers in there, probably. So, MacBook fits in there. Go ahead and shake it up. It doesn't feel like it's moving around that much. It fits pretty snug. Now, if you do have the 13 inch MacBook, I guess you are going to have to worry about it moving around and stuff. But that fits in there pretty well. Because it is, of course, designed for the 15 inch MacBook. But that is the in case nylon compact backpack. Nice, uh, durable nylon. <clears throat> so, I'll have a full review coming up for you guys. Uh, maybe in about a week, week and a half, uh, just so I can use this and get a non-biased um, review out there for you. These straps feel really nice, too. But, yep, okay, subscribe, comment, and uh, I guess can't rate anymore. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want me to do next, uh, what you'd like to see what you'd like me to not do, uh, just let me know because I'm start just starting out and uh, I need some advice. So, see you guys in the next video.